Hi everybody, Beranger. Today I'm going to show you how to create um, a good Facebook target audience for your product that you're trying to promote on Facebook. I'll be using the tool called Connexio. It's a very good tool to create perfect Facebook niche audience. So on Google, you just type Connexio. You log in with your account. So for now, I only bought, they have several options, but I only bought the Connect Explorer. That's the option that allows me to create Facebook audiences uh, or interest targeting audiences. They have Connect Audience as well, Connect Lead to uh, connect with some lead and connect retarget to basically rerun or run a retargeting campaign on on people so to create um a facebook audience you just click on audience target audience audience search let's say i want to create an audience focus on selling lion printed t-shirt which is one that I'm trying to sell for my business. I will have first to create a Facebook ad already on my Facebook business account. If it's done to basically create now the perfect targeting audience, you need just to come in, insert keywords in this search um, box. So you have, you can insert up to how many keywords you want. Let's say I insert lions. And then t-shirt and then animals and I press enter this basically gives me a search result 127 results which are keywords on Facebook or interest with the audience size and the, the type of path we have. First of all, you need to filter because going through 127 is kind of a pain in the ass. So you need to filter the way you do it to search the keyword that you want is basically you can come and search extension. First of all, you need to reduce that because there are certain keywords that have very high audience size, which you don't probably want. For example, animated movie 324 million. So you need to reduce the audience size, for example, to let's say 3 million. And then the targeting type, you can select the targeting type, for example, to additional interest. Um, there are some categories here that do not really fit with what you're looking for. So you don't really select them. Let's see how be activity and pet. And then I filter, apply the filter. You reduce down to 74. So I can just quickly go through the keywords. I can select the keywords that I want um, Facebook to use for my audience, to target my audience, animal, animal lovers. Animals. It's a lion which is basically what you want because you want your, your audience to be interested in lion. Printed t-shirt, this is perfect because what you're trying to sell is a printed t-shirt to people interested in lions. T-shirt. Uh, the advice that the, the help from this website gives is to select up to 10 keyword relevant keywords before applying to 
your Facebook ad. So let's say BuzzFeed Animal. Disney Animal Kingdom. Not really relevant. People interested in animal rights, for example, or animal rescue group, or animal planet, might be interested in your t-shirt as well, so you can target those people. And once I'm done, for example, 10, 10 is selected, you can also come here and remove uh, interests that you don't think are relevant anymore, and then you come you save you can you need to save that as a project you need to save that as a project so next time you can use it for other facebook ads concerning lions so if i save it as a project i give it a name Now it's already saved on the Lion t-shirt. So every time I want to target people interested in Lions, I can just come and use that again as a, um, as a Facebook audience for those people. And then I can apply to a selected ad set. So first I need to select all of them and I apply them to a selected ad set. So when you connect, this connects you to your Facebook account. Basically, it's going to sync with your Facebook account and you will see your Facebook uh, ad accounts here. So this is my Facebook account. These are my Facebook campaign that I launched. Let's say I, I started a lion campaign already and I created an ad concerning lions. So I will, for example, um just for the sake of this video let's say i'll choose this one zodiac bracelet as the lion campaign that i created already and then i will select the ad set zodiac campaign then i'll select people in the united states United Kingdom if you want France for example well France is not included so and then you just apply to ad set so when you apply that to ad set all those keywords will be replacing any keyword that you already created so first when you create your Facebook ad you don't really pay attention to the ad to the keyword to select you can just select one keyword um, and then once you're done with selecting the correct keywords using this tool, you can just create on, click on apply to ad set and you will apply that to your Facebook ad. So we've applied 10 interests successfully to the ad set. You can view that inside Facebook. And as you can see here, all the interests have been applied to the targeting audience. And then basically you can just run your Facebook ad using that audience. And a lot of those keywords are not keywords that you can find by the suggested tool built in Facebook. So you need this extra tool to basically uh, give you extra keywords that I use in on Facebook but not displayed as suggested keywords. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a thumbs up. Um, 
like and share and I'll see you next time. Leave a comment below to let me know how I can improve. Thank you. See you next time.